thank you very much. Uh, first, uh, distinguished guests, your excellencies and ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first of all, uh, we are very honored to be uh, invited to speak for the second time. And uh, thank you for a splendid conference so far. And we're looking forward to the rest. Today, I will focus on what we have accomplished. Uh, and we have accomplished a lot since we met last time. And I will start with some examples of actually what Thomas has been uh, talking about. Next slide, please. First of all, uh, I have three different conversations that just make you smile a little bit, maybe. But I think you will never have a conversation like that that I show on the slide, that you, an Android, Android uh, telephone is not possible to call an iPhone. So what we really have done is to make uh, people uh, to talk to each other and increase the interoperability. Next slide, please. Another very interesting uh, conversation would be uh, if you uh, had a lot of different uh, app stores that you need to go through to look for something. And also, if we really start looking to, for instance, Google, are Google really uh, trustworthy in, in different ways if you are running a, a trustworthy system? So what we are doing here is trying to look into discoverability and different ways of how to find each other and make it easier in the maritime domain. Next slide, please. The third or more of a uh, in starting up discussion is, uh, for instance, uh, today we have seen a lot of uh, funny things when uh, ships are trying to identify each other uh, towards different kind of ports, uh, authorities, etc. And uh, today it's very easy for someone who would like to uh, play a practical joke uh, towards in the digital system. And that is also something we are really looking into, the integrity, the trust, and the security. So just as a start, next slide, please. Why uh, is Navlink relevant? Uh, why, why should anyone listen to us? Or, or why uh, should anyone actually have a meeting with us or anything? Well, if you would like to have an uh, interoperable, trustworthy, and secure uh, platform for your uh, com communications, uh, where you're actually leaving your own domain and talk with others, then I think Navlink, uh, as Thomas just described as the MCP uh, community, will be a perfect place to have the start. Uh, I said, next slide, please. I said I will focus on what we have accomplished. Uh, three years ago, we started this uh, community uh, and uh, as a non-profit, and we are still a non-profit industrial consortium. So what we have really done is that we have set up, and I will show you some slides on uh, how many uh, today services is actually running through the, an operational system. Uh, of course, we have fully implemented all the EU sanctions and other sanctions needed due to uh, the development in, in the world. And also, uh, as a token that we think that this, we are on the right track, everyone who is interested in having a discussion with us or try if this is something for you, it's actually free uh, of charge for the first year, and there is no uh, commitments made. So if you think this would sound interesting, please uh, contact us or let us contact you. Next slide, please. Today, Navlink is a non-profit, industry-driven uh, coalition of the willing, you can uh, say, uh, to establish a common infrastructure. A lot of the ideas and visions that we've heard and uh, gone through the last decades and also all these different projects shown on the, on the lower left side, for instance, the STM uh, Mona Lisa and other projects, we have really tried to actually make that happen in the real world with the great help of uh, Thomas and the MCP. Next slide, please. So what are we actually providing? We are providing a trusted uh, community with a very uh, thorough PKI and a vetting process. We are uh, having uh, the um, possibility for you to find each other in an, uh, in an interoperable way and not making up our own standards. We are following the ones agreed by IALA or anyone else. We give 24-hour, 365 days support to everyone, and we have a really thorough uh, support agreement. Uh, 
What we're looking into, as Stefan uh, Pilmeier discussed before, is, for instance, the VDS uh, compatible solutions. And we have uh, gone uh, quite far in that direction. Next slide, please. We are in a community already, uh, Navlink, uh, as Thomas described. There needs to be several platforms, and we need to find the solutions for actually uh, getting us together. Today, uh, we have the, the Minister of Oceans and Fishery, uh, your instance, for instance. We have the Navlink instance, and we have the demonstrator, as Thomas is running. So, yes, the community is growing. Next slide, please. In Navlink today, we have several uh, organizations, uh, either direct or indirect, using the system. And we have one more than 100, uh, almost up to 200 services running. Uh, ships, uh, VTS, ports, hubs, or whatever you would like. You can see a snapshot of the operational uh, instance uh, on the right side. There is also a lot of uh, instances in the test and the development phase that will soon be released, etc. So yes, uh, we have succeeded in making something operational. Next slide, please. Navlink has a very short history. Uh, we started in 2019 after lo uh, long uh, discussions between a lot of different stakeholders. And today, as you've so seen before, a lot of users are already in the system. And we are hoping that more will start using Navlink as their PKI and service registry. Next slide, please. There has been a lot of discussion if it's uh, no, but now Navlink or any government organization will know everything because all information is stored somewhere. This picture is just shown that no, Navlink is not connected. Uh, when you're talking about the operational information, it's just between the two users or three, or depending on how many you would like to share your information with. Navlink is not sitting on all the information. We are just making sure that you find each other and we're making sure that you are who you claim to be. So you are really talking to the right uh, instance. Next slide, please. And also, uh, there is not one solution for everyone. So we have found out a lot of different ways of joining Navlink. And we hope that there is something that uh, all of you will find uh, interesting in trying. Next slide, please. There is everything from actually sitting around the table and decide what Navlink should be in the future to just uh, enroll as a user or even being a uh, so-called uh, so agent for someone who would like to try, uh, but uh, that would, need, would like your help in different ways. So we have really tried to figure out what will be the best way for all types of users to use Navlink. Next slide, please. That was all for a short summary of what Navlink have done since we met last. And yes, uh, I think we are really on the right track. And uh, together with Thomas and everyone else in the uh, maritime uh, connectivity community, I think we will succeed in, in uh, the journey ahead. Thank you very much uh, for listening.